y'all. It's got a staples. I had to um hold on y'all. I had to make a couple of copies of stuff. Uh first of all, the, the main reason was for me to fax over documentation to the plastic surgeon office because I don't know if I mentioned it in my previous video. Yeah, I'm all over the place because I'm not I'm not weekly. This is not weekly vlogging. This is like monthly, girl. So I may excuse me if I'm repeating stuff. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, <clears throat> um, what is that? What the hell? My plastic surgeon, my my surgery was basically denied. They were like, we you don't qualify. I think I've mentioned this. Basically, is not medical necessary. I'm like, girl. Uh, <laughs> y'all, I that I was feeling a certain type of way when I got that letter, but there is an appeal process, and I'm going through that right now. So go get to the point. So what I have here, all of this right here, is close to 40 pages of documentation, everywhere from my chiropractor visits, my doctor visits, and I also went to my gym and asked them for a report. Of when I have been going to the gym. I'm like, dang, I was going to the gym this much? And I still didn't lost any weight. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of myself, especially in May. I was hitting up the gym almost every day. But all of this is to show that I've I've tried to do as much as possible to uh, lose the titty fat. <laughs> Oh God! To basically, you know, strengthen my back and not have as much injury. Now, I would say for the past week or so, I've been having short pains in my blade. Uh, but they wanted me to fax this over, girl. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I calculated. Actually, I, you know, you can see how much it's going to cost before you pay for it because I'm at Staples. $145. So I'm about to call Miss Wynette. I call her Wynette and her name is Jeanette. <laughs> I'm going to call um, the plastic surgeon and be like, I'm going to drop this stuff off. But I make copies of the stuff that I want copies of that I need to keep. Um, so I'm like, mm, I'm just going to drop all this paperwork off because we're talking about close to 40 pages. $145. Just came back from a second school tour of JV school. Y'all, I'm feeling a certain type of way with my son going into kindergarten. I need to stop calling him my baby because I really do think that He's my child, he will always be my baby, but he's not a baby. I think that we need to get out of that habit, and I mean we as in black people, of uh, giving our children, especially boys, uh, nicknames. Like I don't refer to JB as my little man. He's not a little man, he ain't my man. Um, and I know people, for girls, they say little mama. And I heard of someone who was calling her little boy daddy. I was in one girl, I was in one of those ratchet Facebook groups and someone said that they know someone who calls their little boy daddy. I don't even call my husband daddy. I only have one father besides the holy father. <laughs> no, yeah, so anyway, I want to get away from calling him my baby or a baby because he's not. <laughs> it was the assistant principal who gave us the tour and she uh let us know that they have a summer camp, so I don't have to include him on the in the camp that the school that he's in. Excuse me, he just he could just go ahead and go to the summer camp at the kindergarten, then go to their kindergarten boot camp, and then start kindergarten. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, excuse me, I just got finished eating some turkey, not turkey, some chicken lettuce wraps. So good. I'm trying to watch my carbs because it is that time of the year. Hold on. Do you see? Do you see these tray folies? Why are you, uh, why are they called? Tray foes? Tray foes? I said tray foes. Girl Scout cookies. When in the hell did Girl Scout cookies go up to $5 a box? Did they used to be like $4, $3.50, something like that? And then, um, I ain't even said that, y'all. Y'all, I'm animated. The person that you see right here is the person in, is who you see in person. So, when he said $5 a box, I said $5 a box? And he started laughing. I'm like, these crack cookies are worth it though. So here's my five dollars and give me these trifolies. The video, who I can't even see. Well, I am. They can see me. So I got fun lip, fun lip. Y'all, it is Friday. It's Friday. 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 Fri
Oh, this is for my husband. I'll probably make us some appetizers. This is for Valentine's Day. Child, he's having cataract surgery on, on Valentine's Day. He probably didn't even notice it. Yeah, I was okay. He's sick. <clears throat> um, so I went ahead and purchased all of his Valentine's Day stuff last Valentine's Day. Like the day afterwards, I went to Walmart. This stuff was on sale for 70% off, 98 cents for a lot of these Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna put together Valentine's Day packages. Literally everything probably cost me less than eight bucks, seven, eight bucks for everything because I got it everything on, on clearance, even his um his Valentine's. And they're just they're they're their taste change. So, just because I get Pal Patrol this year doesn't mean he's going to like Pal Patrol next year. So, I'm not going to waste my coins getting it. Ninja Turtles, he, he's, he likes Ninja Turtles. Right, Boo Boo? I do not like Ninja Turtles anymore. Cha. This, what a hater. This, <laughs> he said what a hater. <laughs> Okay, baby, this is my, my post-baptism meal, y'all. I have to give them my testimony health-wise. Health Guys. What? I got um, a wing. Why am I showing y'all all this? Let me tell you. A wing, a th chicken thigh, biscuit. And I had a taste for mashed potatoes. You're supposed to eat, eat it like this. You're going to cut, bite into the jalapeno. Mm. And you let that juice go over your chicken. That's how we eat it in the country. Here, baby. This church has grown, y'all. I mean, she was kind of mean. I will get to that, boo boo. Mm. This is the church that a lot of people stop going to because. The preacher is in long lines, a prosperity preacher. But when I went in there today, I haven't been there. The last time I was there, I was pregnant with JB. And I don't know how I feel about it. I feel that churches should be growing. Um, yeah, so I don't know. And daddy's sick. We'll get to that too, boo-boo. You like the lemonade? Don't drink all my lemonade, child. Anyway, so I am drinking all the lemonade. I hadn't been to this church since. Let me zoom in some. I haven't been to this church okay. since. Um, I, I was pregnant with him. Lemonade. Okay, baby. They painted the inside. I mean, there are certain parts of the church I recognize, and then certain parts I'm like, oh, it's very different. They had like six LED. I mean, hold on, baby. LED TV screens. I mean, they've dropped several thousands of dollars into this church. I'm like, wow. Um, they've always had a Starbucks. Yes, girl. They have a Starbucks, but now they're serving hot food. Uh, every Saturday they have a grill that you can buy tacos and stuff. I'm like, wow. They have a bookstore. I mean, so the baptism went great. They did a little telling me about baptism and all that. I'm not a babe in Christ, so I understand all the importance of it, but it was good to cover it for those of us, for those who just needed to hear it again or the first time hearing it. I dropped JB off at the Kingdom Kids area. While when I went to go pick, pick him up, some old crotchety lady was like, I had to speak to him a couple of times. She was giving me Miss Kim teas. Miss Kim was the old older teacher from his from his previous school who kept saying that JB was was giving her a hard time. So this woman had that same demeanor. She said, like, I had to speak to him a few times. He wasn't listening. I said, Okay, he's fine. And she looked at me. She went on and on. She's like, you and telling me what he was doing. Basically, when they sat down to eat, um, he wouldn't he wouldn't sit there and eat with them. I, I said he doesn't eat pizza. She said, but yeah, you gotta follow the rules. I said, I understand. I said, but this is his first time coming. One, no, I'm not making excuses, but this is his first time coming. One, it's late. It's almost eight o'clock. He usually goes to bed at eight. He's overtired. She said, well, yeah, I know. And there's 50 kids here. I'm like, well, 
I said, you know what? We just, I just came here to get baptized. More than likely, I won't be coming down here again. And, and you <laughs> I didn't say that. That's what I wanted to say. Fights like that be, because that be, he was excited. I told her, hold on, baby. I told her, I said, I'll let you speak. I'm sorry. I told her, I said, he's super excited. He has not been around kids in three days. She's like, doesn't he go to school? I said, he's in pre-K. She's like, oh, this school, this class is for five and six years old. I said, that's my mark. I'm thinking, okay. Well, I don't know why they put him in this classroom. Go ahead, baby. So, do you know how the how it inside like that because mm -hmm. it used to be it used to be a house and then it burned down but it, burned down. It, you know how, how the inside like that because it, because it burned down I was thinking of that when I was there here is my baptism certificate I'm touching it with a yeah y'all so excited look Water went into my nose and ears, and I like got like a brain freeze feeling type. I was like, "Oh my god!" So I should have closed my nose, but you know what? This chicken not even spicy. Mm mm. <laughs> Y'all, I'm looking back there like I'm really gonna go back. And let them know it's not spicy. I ain't gonna do that. I'm eating it. My husband used to live, I mean, not live. My husband used to work around here. Speaking of, he is sick. When he came to bed yesterday, he was coughing and hacking. And, and kept we, saying, and I, and I was, I kept going next to him after, you know, on accident. Yeah, I was telling JB, don't you go near here. I'm not trying to have everybody sick. So anyway, he was like, I don't know, I don't think it's my allergies. I'm like, nah, this is um, too much body fluids. JB, they're not trying to see your leap fry. They're trying to see my mashed potatoes. I'm like, nah, play. That's too. It's too many bodily fluids for it to be allergies. When he woke up sneezing and tissues, I was like, oh, why is my light saw spray? I brought out the light saw spray. I sprayed. <laughs> and, and we gave him some, some older berry juice. Older berry, elder baby. <laughs> I, was, I poured all the elderberry juice in a cup, and this is a um concentrated kind, so you have to dilute it with more. water. Yeah, I need to buy some more. Actually, I need to make some. You can buy. You can make it as, as long as you buy the berries. Anyway, so I was like, oh no, I gave him all my vitamin C packs. I said, you are not. Not only are you not about to get us sick, but I don't want to hear you sick. For a week, y'all. There's nothing that gets on my that works my nerves in a man that's sick. Oh, baby, call off work. Don't take off. Don't do nothing else but but hear me moan and groan about being sick, child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they can't multitask when they sick. They can't multitask anyway. But when they sick, and that's no that's no offense to Ew. all. There's no offense to any of my my. Pee gentlemen that watch my channel because I know there's a few men that watch my channel. Shout out to Mike Mike. <laughs> These mashed potatoes are weak. <laughs> now <laughs> JB is so dang on silly. y'all what's the date i gotta start giving y'all dates because i feel like these vlogs that are longer these monthly vlogs and more than likely the february will be broken up into two videos because at this point it's a mess y'all my transitioners um hold on congratulations on oh, what girl I just loaded up a hair video. I'm running out of ideas for hair video, hair related videos until I start doing reviews again. Um, oh, and I want to do some, I want to have new content weekly. Anyway, 
I've been in a certain type of way, you guys, lately. Um, let me start off by saying, hey, how y'all doing? It is do, 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 February 7th. It's my mama's birthday. Oh, Lord. I'm wondering why she ignoring me. I think it's her birthday. Is it her birthday? Hold on, y'all. Let me call my mama. Hold on, y'all. Hey, mama. Hey, isn't it your birthday today? No, ma'am. I got my my days are all messed up. Yeah. Did you get my message on? You get my message on Facebook? Yeah, I did got it. Oh, okay. Y'all got my mama's uh, birthday wrong, y'all. It's it be too many people's birthdays. I got too many family members. And then my, my uh, sister's birthday is in a few, a few more weeks. Look, that's my excuse. Um, but y'all, y'all just hurt me. I'm trying to... I'm going to try to convince my husband to move back to Texas. My husband does not like Texas, y'all. What the hell is going on with this light? Sorry, y'all. There we go. My husband doesn't like Texas. He complains about the weather. He said the humidity made his head hurt. Um, he doesn't like the politics. I'm like, Arizona is conservative too. So what are you talking about? Um, but, and I don't, I don't want to nag him about it, but I woke up last night and I was just so homesick. I started crying cause I was, I'm so homesick. Um, and just thinking about, I don't know, getting older. I'm going to be 40 in a couple of more years. And the reality is it is. I'm going to be losing family members, uh, especially on my mom and dad side, because my parents are getting older. They're not old, but they're getting older. Um, people don't live forever. I missed my grandmother's funeral. I missed my grandfather's funeral because literally when I, for my grandmother, for my big mama, I went to go see her. I went to Texas and three days later, she suddenly died. I just couldn't afford to paid for another round ticket to go back to Texas and I just couldn't do it um and the same thing with my grandfather like literally a few days later he passed away after I visited so I wouldn't have we wouldn't have this problem if we were living in Dallas or living in Houston um but anyway my mom you know was you know well maybe you can move to Oklahoma but girl the main reason why we are staying out here is because my husband's job was paying for his student loans. Well, I found out this girl didn't tell me they stopped paying for his student loans. Last year, I'm like, well, what's the point of us staying out here again? Like, there's no reason for us to live out here, y'all. The education sucks. And what I found is that a lot of black people move here, black families move here, um to start another start a better life a lot of people are coming from here from areas that are not so great like there's a lot of people from here from chicago so many in fact there's a facebook group specifically for black people moving from chicago to arizona a lot of folks here from chicago in general but especially a lot of black people here from chicago and the east coast um I was so excited when my girlfriend moved out. Miss Wanda, you guys saw me cook for her. She was the one I, for her birthday. She came over. I was really excited for her to come back down. But I've only seen her three times in two years that she's been back here. Um, she travels a lot. She's single. She travels a lot. Um, she's busy with work. I don't have a lot of close friends out here. My best friend is back in Farney, Texas, which is uh, a little bit past Mesquite or, or um, Garland. I also was feeling a kind of certain kind of way because I dropped off JB and I've been struggling trying to get him here at 8.45 because if it was earlier, like, it's funny. If it was 7 o'clock, I could get him at 7 o'clock because I'm not busy trying to do other stuff, but... It's almost 9.30 now. It is. It's past 9.30. Dropped him off and the teacher told me that he's struggling to write his name. And I think one of the reasons why, and again, I'm not making any excuses for him. And I told her this too, is that he's used to writing J-A-B-B-Y. Well, here he's been writing his full name. This is my mama, y'all. Hold on. 
What was I talking about? So anyway, yeah, his teacher is saying that she's, he, he's struggling with writing his name. So he knows how to write J-B, J-A-B-B-Y, and J-B, the letter J-B, he will write that in a minute, child. But his full traditional name is what he's struggling with. It's a long ass name, too. Looking at my job, y'all, I need to go ahead and get home real quick. Um, That was my stomach. I'm gaining weight. I'm short, you guys, so any type of weight is going to show up and I can feel it. So I'm at 176 now. 176, and I know what it is. It's carbs. Whether it comes in sugar, whatever it is, it's carbs. It's the carbs. I've been eating a lot more carbs lately and I need to cut it out. I really do. There's no excuses. And I haven't been working out as often. <clears throat> Doing a 10-minute hit exercise every two or three days does not make up for our, for the 40 minutes of cardio I used to do almost on a daily basis. So, I need to get on it. And as an incentive, since I was boohooing last night over being homesick, I just decided, I'm going to tell my husband this, that I'm going to go back home in September for my 20-year high school re reunion. Look, y'all, at first I was like, I'm not going to that shit, but I'm going to go. And I'm going to lose some weight so I can be cute in my dress. I already purchased a dress. I got this dress, y'all. I'm one of these type of people to wear. Tell me if you like this. And if you're not, okay. I'll be... I like to do a lot of browse online shopping, just browsing. But if I see a deal, I will buy it. I don't care what it is. I will buy it. Um, so I saw a dress on ASOS, um, and I loved it. It was so pretty. Navy blue cocktail dress, $20. Sold. $20. Originally, it was $60. $20. I bought it. I got it in a size 14, and it's... It fits in the hips, because I'm hippie. It fits in the hips, but in the waist, it needs to be taken in. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to give myself 12 to 14 weeks to lose 20 pounds. 12 to 14 weeks to lose 20 pounds. And then I'm going to have that dress taken in, camped up a little bit. Y'all, the best thing you could do, if you're a curvy girl, if you're a plus size girl, hell, even if you're not, Spend a little bit of money and get your dress, all, your your clothes altered. I've been getting my clothes altered since I was, I will say for the past eight or nine years. My friend will um, take in my clothes for me and take them out sometimes. <laughs> but mostly she's been taking them out. I'm not spending no more money on clothes. Y'all, uh-uh. I will, my lips are peeling. Why can y'all tell me? I'm up here looking like a fat crackhead. Look, y'all, I'm in my office multitasking. Let me adjust this. I just saw a video of me. I edited all that out, girl. I mean, stomach is out of control. But you know what? You have to dress for your body type. I am a rectangle. No matter how big these breasts are, I am a rectangle body type. Now, if my waist was about four inches smaller, then yes, I'll be an hourglass. But right now, no. Anyway, um... I literally deleted all that footage because I was so upset of how I looked. <laughs> yeah. I'm organizing JB's um, supplies I have at home for supplemental homeschooling, which has fallen way off the radar just because I've been so busy. But we still do things at home and I actually just sent, I need to get a printer. I just sent a couple of things to Staples, a couple of um, Things as far as sight words and his name so that we can start practicing his name at home since that's what he's dealing with. He has, my husband was saying we need to have a designated area for him so he can sit down and actually study. He has like a, <laughs> a table and chair outside in the sand. I'm going to wash that off, dry it off, and bring it inside the house. And that's where he's going to just have a designated area for him to sit down. No TV, no, no disruptions. And let the color go in. There we go. What is up with these YouTubers going to stylists who are not experienced with their hair? Didn't we learn last year from overall the one that had the waist lit long hair and the stylist reached out to her and was like, hey sis, I want to cut your hair for you. I want to do your hair. And she agreed to it. Um, I was watching a few days ago a vlog by journey vlogs journey to waist length that's her natural hair but then she has a vlogging channel i guess her natural niece were invited out by q dad is that how you pronounce the, the name you guys to um they have a new line or collection i guess is it q dad y'all 
No, it's not. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm thinking about that cute actor, Tangle and Cone, because that's one I want to buy soon. It was OGX. Y'all know the expensive ass shampoo and little bitty like oval container um, or a product jar. OGX invited them out to try a new collection. And they, they agreed to do it. All three uh, bloggers agreed to do it, right? And so they all have different hair types. And one thing they have in common is their hair, at least from what I've seen, um, pretty dense, okay? So when, um, I can't think of her name. I, I don't know her name, Journey to um, Waist Length. She said that she showed up with dirty hair because she assumed that they were gonna wash her hair. But then the stylist was like, no, I'm just gonna style your hair. But then she asked him to wash and he was like, sure, I'll wash your hair for you. Ciao. <laughs> mm. He did not detangle her hair before. And I literally, she showed clips of him detangling her hair and I'm sure her hair, I'm sure some of you have seen the video by now because by the time I load this up, it would have been up. Um, you would have seen it. So he's detangling her hair and is lightly combing her hair at the ends. He's not even bothered. Baby, I was done. He, well, he didn't even bother to, to detangle her hair before shampooing, neither after. Then she said he put mousse in her hair, right? So sure enough, I guess he was trying to do a wash and go. And then she showed natural niece to getting her niece to getting her hair done. And she was actually um, giving her stylist step by step on what to do with her hair. I'm like, hell no. I don't give a damn how many free products you give me. I'm not going to, if you are a stylist for curly hair, I'm not going to tell you how to do my own hair. So needless to say, the girl said when she got home and her hair later dried, it became really, really matted and tangled. Let me tell you something. I don't care if Fadal Sassoon himself, God rest his soul, came down and said, Vivian, sis, I want to do your hair. We got some new products. I'm, I'm going to be like, Fadal, do you have any experience with natural hair? Matter of fact, do you have any experience with four textured hair? If you don't, I'm sorry, Fadal, you're not touching my <laughs> But y'all know what I'm saying. You have to be careful who touch your hair. It takes only one one mess of we've seen it happen time and time and time again luckily they all didn't you know they didn't suffer anything horrible but it could have gone that way i'm sorry you ain't touching my hair no ma'am and this is not shading anyone this is just girl what is she talking about Rhonda? what are you talking about mr life will just sent me a she just commented what are you saying helpful Girl, share some of that hair. Rhonda, look, I'm Mr. Life will just commented on my video. Share some of my hair. You can have it, sis. Y'all, you see what my hair looks like. I'm over it. Shout out to Linda. <laughs> Girl, look, y'all, I'm laughing because she went she went a little in on her video. She did a video stuff that she's tired of for natural hair youtubers girl you baby that accent came out full of effect if there was no doubt that your ass is from louisiana <laughs> lord have mercy y'all i'm so cute <laughs> all right let me find some shorts for you Ooh, excuse me <laughs> they can't see you, which is a good thing. We don't want people just seeing you in your underwear. Oh, you have some new shorts, right? Sorry, y'all. You have some new shorts right here that mommy okay. got you. You want to wear these? Uh-huh. <sighs> y'all, the children's place had 60% off, so I went and got a bunch of clothes for him. I'm going to go get some What are you recording in me? Oh, give me some sugar. Hear me out? Are you doing a hair video? Am I doing a hair video? <laughs> but tomorrow, Thomas is gonna, it's gonna come over. Yeah, Thomas, and you guys are gonna be real good, right? You're gonna be good, good boys. I'm gonna let Thomas know about the rules here, cause he's a little bad, right? He's not too bad. We're not too bad. I think it's when he gets with, 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 uh, what's her name, Taryn? Yeah. When he gets some tearing. Too bad. <laughs> Yummy. White. White. Uh, it's a camera. 
You like your donut, Thomas? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guys, here's one coming new car. You wanna wipe your hand off? Here you go. Oh. So as y'all saw, we have a guest this week. Um, well, not this week, today. Um, hold on, y'all. My neighbor across the street sent me a message last night and was basically like, um, did you hear about Miss Lori? I'm like, no, Miss Lori is the lady that runs the indoor daycare here in the neighborhood. She's like, well, she has pneumonia and she's been in the hospital for a few days. I'm like, oh my God. So she asked me if I could keep her son. I'm like, absolutely. So I kept JB home from school and first thing in the morning, I ran them tired. So it's noon, like literally, cause JB had an appointment 7.30 at the dentist. So we literally were out from seven to 10 o'clock. Oh yes, baby, I will run your child tired. So it's noon and they're laying in bed watching TV. cry right now I actually did start crying I had to make myself stop my breast reduction was approved isn't God good I was feeling I told you I was feeling a certain type of way but I said Vivian get it together send them the documentation give them what they asked for breast reduction approved I just got a voice message she said go ahead and call the scheduler I called my husband he said go ahead schedule it as soon as you can I'll take off uh, I'm so happy y'all, two years. I've been doing this for two years. Going to the chiropractor sometimes up to three times a week. I've been on gabapentin, I'm on another drug. I'm so happy. And my breasts are so large. Y'all can't see because I wear minimizers, but I will still be a full C slash D is what he's telling me. I'm so happy. So look y'all, I'm ecstatic. I, I, I want them to call me back now so I can schedule it. But give me some advice, those of you who's had breast reductions. I want some tips on care afterwards. I'm a G when it comes to pain. I can really handle, I think my pain management will be okay, but things like tips that help me to recover. Thankfully I work from home so I don't have to go into an office. Suddenly uh, I'll probably take like the first three or four days off from work, probably take a week off, girl. Who am I kidding? I'll take a week off. Oh Lord, Jamie. <laughs> okay, calm down. Hey. Hey, you guys. We just came back from um. Love to play this play area. Can I put this thing right here? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let me try to try to close this if it'll make it better. I need to clean my closet. Um, I'm fixing my dress because um, we're going to church in the morning. Let me show you this dress real quick. It's real cute, but it's too big. Can you see this? This big bow here. So I'm fixing this bow of safety pins so that it can lay flat. Isn't that cute? And I have a cute corner to go with it. It's way too big. Look how wide it is. I mean, this is a 14, but I'm not this big in the waist anymore. My waist is probably a 10, 12. My bust is a 16. My waist is a 10, 12. And then my butt is like a 14. Anyway, y'all. Let me tell you something. Don't mistake this southern accent and this cute face for weakness. Because I'm the type of person you really don't want to get on my bad side. One and two, don't don't come at me with anything minor, petty, or anyway. And I lately I just haven't been in the mood. Um, while we're at the play area, the kids are you know they're running around playing. It's a it's a big play area. There's probably fifty plus children in this play area, right? And we've been here before. This is we've been here before. So anyway, um, they're playing around. 
And when they leave, after coming up to me for the 1500th time, the day, <laughs> during the day, I saw a woman behind them, about four or five feet behind them, looking at me, smiling, and I was like, oh, okay. When they left, she finally came up to me. She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah. Um, I had to tell them that they can't play over there in the baby area, toddler area. And I said, yes, they can. She said, well, no, they can't. The area's for babies. I said, we have been here 10 plus times. They, no one, no worker has ever came up to me to say that my child cannot play in that area. She turned bright red and I, I like, I turned back around. She turned bright red and walked off. First of all, don't tell my child, my child, and I, I'm going to say the other, the other kid, Tom, um, Thomas, don't tell my children, because at this point, if I'm caring for you, you're my child too. Don't tell my children what they can't do or can't do. You need to come to me first. As a mother. You don't go to somebody else's kids. Are you out of your deal? Child, when she's I'm like, you can't tell them that. So I wonder why they stopped playing over them. I'm like, you can't do that. So come to find out that that's actually a toddler area. And you have to be very iffy when it comes to the word toddler. With their rules there, it says four and under. So granted, JB can't play over there. He missed the cutoff girl by four weeks. But Thomas, his friend, is only four years old. So you tell them the babies they can't... If you don't go sit your fluffy ass down, child, don't just assume anything. You know, even when JB was, was four years old, he always got mistaken for being bigger. Always, girl. Just like when we left the, um, the, when I got my baptism and the teacher there that was keeping the kids, she was getting irritated saying that, you know, JB wasn't listening to her following the rules. She did not realize how young he was. She assumed he was six years old. I said, my baby just barely, barely turned five, ma'am. No, she's like, well, why is he in this class? I'm like, I don't know why he's in this classroom. He was supposed to be, he was supposed to have been with the pre-K, but they placed him with the kindergartner slash first grade. You know, he's, he's almost there. So anyway, y'all, that is it. I feel like I need to organize my makeup. That calms me. Does that calm anyone to put all my makeup out and organize it? I think I may do that. All right, y'all. I will see y'all in a couple of more weeks. I think I will go ahead and upload this video in February. And then I'll have a second February video closer to March. Because February ain't that long. Oh, Black History Month. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Except on Marosa. <laughs> So damn petty.